and welcome to Behind the Camera, the show where we hear the stories behind the newest films. Today, I'd like to welcome Sunny Lark to the podcast. Hey, thank you for having me. We are all so excited to have you on the show, so I'll not wait any longer and jump straight in. Go for it. Looking at your newest project, Agnetio, how does your product engage with the audiences? Looking at the film, I intended for the audience to be anywhere from 12 to 25. This is quite a large age range already, however the film will be appealing to an even wider age range. The audience are also digital natives, which we have made it very accessible for them to interact with all the cast through social media. The cast are also teens which are new to the industry and many people who watch the film will be able to see them as role models. Also looking at the overall narrative and genre of the film, it has a strong magical and dystopian feel to it, which can appeal to the viewers. In the opening sequence, it is not noticeably clear, but the film is not really supposed to make sense till the end. The film is really about the journey of the characters, and I want the audience to experience that with them. The first two minutes just set up the story to give some context about the characters, but also create a lot of enigmas for the audience to try to, or wait to figure out what happens. Yes, indeed, the film is very magical and now biting. How is this film different from other films or anything you've produced before? This film is different from what I've ever created before, as in at Agneto I've dipped into the thriller and dystopian genres rather than my usual films which are more comedy based. There's not a film like it out now as it is such a complex narrative and I think other companies are too anxious to explore that. While making the film I did take inspiration from the film Children of Men. I really liked the colorization of the film and took some of that into Agneto. I do not want to give away too much, but the film is about witches and this rivalry they have whilst also mixing with the idea of being controlled into an alternate reality. I totally agree. This film is truly a work of art. Thank you. How will it be distributed as a real media text? The film will use many conventional and non-conventional distribution methods. I have been very fortunate enough to work with the amazing team at Netflix for this project. So, the film will firstly be released in movie theatres on May 16th, and then the film will have an exclusive premiere on Netflix on June 27th, where it will also be permanently available from then on. Congratulations! I'm sure everyone will be putting those dates in their calendars. How will this film be advertised across the UK? All the advertising for the film will be predominantly social media based, using platforms such as TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, etc. Like I said before, the audience are digital natives, so it will be especially important to communicate with them through their way of communicating. I'm extremely excited for everyone to see the film and love it as much as I and the cast do. Everyone will love it. I know they will. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I wish you all the best and can't wait for the release in May. Thank you.